An update tonight on the German Shepherd shot in Derby. The owners are now facing multiple charges going before a judge, judge this week. The pup, meantime, is under 24-hour care. News 12 Connecticut's Marissa Alter has more on this investigation and how the community is now rallying around this dog. This German Shepherd named Thunda had to have a front leg and shoulder blade amputated after being shot twice in Derby last week. He's between eight months and a little over a year old and has been under 24 hour care at VCA Shoreline in Shelton ever since Derby police responded to a 911 call. Around two o'clock on Friday morning, we were called up to Coon Hollow Park on a report of an injured dog. Police say the caller was 28-year-old Stranja Perrin. She and 27-year-old Anthony Singletary were found in their car with their two young kids. They just reported that they were up there and found the dog. It looked like it had been hit by a car, is what they said. But police later learned the couple owned the dog. Investigators also found two 9mm weapons registered to Perrin in her car and say the ammunition was consistent with casings found at the scene. Both Perrin and Singletary were arrested. They were arraigned Monday on several charges. Have they said why? No, they've to, to date, they've actually denied even owning the dog. But there are many people who want that opportunity. Adoption and foster requests have poured in, but are on hold for now, pending some legal matters in the criminal case. We're told Thunda is getting better every day. He's now eating on his own and taking his medicine. According to staff here, he has a long road ahead, but he's a fighter. And he's got plenty of support around him. A community member started a GoFundMe campaign to help pay for the expected medical expenses. That's raised $15,000 so far. Amazing. Like, I've not seen anything like it. In Derby, Marissa Alter, News 12, Connecticut. We hope that puppy feels better soon. Police say Perrin and Singletary are from Ansonia, but recently became homeless. The two kids are now staying with family members. We're also told Singletary is a convicted felon, but neither has prior animal cruelty charges. If either postpone, though, they are not allowed to have any pets.